good morning everyone myself murli the reddy in this video we are going to discussing about how to install maven in linux linux is nothing but uh, amazon linux centos red hat and also ubuntu also it will be work we are going to install that uh, linux i mean maven okay i already created one server this is the server and also connected the particular server okay first we have to we have a few steps to install first step is we have to install java because this Maven is a Java based, right? Java is mandatory to install that particular server. Currently, I'm installing Maven Java. This is the command m install Java 1.8. Okay. JDK 1.8, I'm installing. Copy this. And the next, I'm entering here. Paste. Okay. Then I'm giving iPhone by. It won't ask yes or no option, right? If you give the iPhone by, it is gather the information and it is installing. Okay, if you observe here, installing step by step. Yes, here it is installed Java 1.8. The current Java version is 17, but in our case, we are installing Java 1.8. Okay, now we can verify whether install or not. Java even version. If you observe here, Java is installed. The version is OBS Nidike version 1.8. Okay, got it right? Installation is done. Now, Next step. Next step, we have to download the zip file or tar file. The particular Maven we have to download and we will be download in OPT directly. As I said earlier in Linux distribution system, I mean Linux directory structure, I told you, right? OPT directly, we can install all the software. Okay. We are using, we are going to download in OPT directly only that particular Maven. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, go to the Google Maven download. And as I said, like uh, Maven is developed by Apache. That is the reason Maven.apache.org organization. Okay. Now click this one. The Maven current version is 3.8.6. Okay. Here we have a binary file, tar.zip and zip file. You can use zip file or tar file. Anything is fine. Okay. For Windows, we will be use zip file. For Linux, we can use either tar or zip file. Anything is fine. I'm going to download tar file or zip file. I'm going to download zip file. Just right click copy link address. When you give the copy link address, what will happen? It will copy that particular URL. Okay. Now go to the OPT directory. Okay. Now give the duplicate command. What is the usage of duplicate command? If you want to download anything from internet, either jar file, tar, zip file, right? We will be use duplicate command. I give the duplicate command to download. Currently, I'm in OPT directory. Okay, download is done. If you observe here, if you get here 200, it means the particular URL is correct. Now it is downloaded. The zip file is available here. If you give the LL command, now you can able to see here. Okay, the step step two is completed. Downloaded. Next step is we have to unzip it. Okay, we have a zip file, right? How you can unzip? Using unzip command, you can unzip it. Okay, unzip space Apache FN Marvel. Okay, enter. Now it is unzipped. Give the LL command. If you observe here, the folder directory is created. When you unzip, whatever file uh, directory is available inside, it is exposed when you use the unzip command. Okay. Next one, we have to rename. The reason is, if you observe here, this name is very long, right? We wanted to re uh, rename that name. How you can do? MV. Using MV command, you can rename or you can move from one location to another location. In our case, I'm using rename it Apache Mavin to Mavin. Okay. Then give the LL command. If you observe here, Maven is renamed. Before it was Apache Maven 3.8.6, but later I will rename to Maven. Got it right? Any question here? Now I'm going to insert this Maven directory. Let's see what are the options available. Go to Maven directory. First one, bin directory. Bin directory is nothing but binaries. If you are running any, if you are doing any commands related to the particular Maven, the, here this is the file to execute. Okay, this file is calling and it will be executed that particular configuration. For example, I'm using uh, checking that version, MVN iPhone version. Okay, inbuilt it, it will come to this bin directory, it will be execute this cell script. Inside this MVN is a cell script. Okay. Not only this tool, any tool by bin directory is nothing but binary. The particular binary is used for to run that particular commands, to run that particular uh, tools. Okay, fine. This is the cell script. You don't want to uh, understand this one, not required. Just to understand inside the bin directory, we have a MVN file. In this particular MVN file, it will be executed when you are running the commands. Okay. 
we have another options also me and debug debug related okay next one come back one step now config directory boot directory boot files will be there this particular maven config directory go to the config directory we have a one major file is there that is setting.xml inside the settings.xml we will be declare the authentication details if you observe here i'm going to insert setting.xml inside the setting.xml you can declare uh, multiple things like uh, one is uh, local repository, deposit info, profiles, service details, interactive mode is false, default true. If you want to keep it as a false, you can. Okay. And also plugins related. As I said, like uh, we have a multiple plugins also will be there in Maven. Okay. Plugin groups. And also if you want to define any proxy related, you can configure proxy configuration inside the setting.xml. Okay. And you can declare the servers. Inside the server tag, you can declare authentication details. Authentication details means the particular example. If you want to deploy particular artifacts in Nexus or JFrog, you have to declare the Nexus or JFrog authentication details, username, password. You have to declare here only. I will show you later part. Okay. And next one, we have a mirrors information if you want to declare. Okay. And also we, you can declare the profiles concept. There are a lot of things it will be support, active profiles. Okay. Plugins you can declare if you want. Okay, but this uh, setting.xml is optional. Some of the use cases will be used. I will show you like uh, we can integrate uh, Nexus and JFrog authentication details inside the setting.xml. Okay, fine. This is the main important file in uh, config directory. Remaining logging means logs related info if you want to configure. Come back step. Next one, lib. Remember, not only this tool, any tool, lib is nothing but libraries. It contains the the particular tool config uh, jar files. The particular tool jar files. Currently, Maven is right. Maven related jar files is available here. Okay, inside the lib directory. Okay, and in here you can see the license information if you want to see. But um, we are using open source, right? Okay, fine. Next one, we dis we we discuss right. What are the options inside available? Mainly one is bin directory. Second one is inside the config directory setting dot xml. These two are main mandatory, okay? Main important. Next one, we have to set the environment variable. Why we require to set the environment variables? Example, in Windows, we have an option, right? If you want to set the environment variables, here we have a PC, go to here, go to properties, okay? You can set the environment variables at the system level, right? Same thing, here I'm going to ENV. You can set either system level or user level. I'm setting up user, uh, system level. You can set here, right? Environment variables. You can set here, right? Install. Uh, this is the Windows. How about Linux? Linux. We have to set the environment variable to run the particular Maven related commands to run anywhere. Okay. What I'm doing here? If you want to set the environment variable, environment variable for Maven, first you have to go to the etc profile.d. Inside the etc profile.d, we have to set. Okay. What I'm going to do? I'm closing this one. What I'm going to do here, slash it is directly and inside that profile.d. Okay. Now here, we have to create the file. We are configuring Maven, right? Maven environment variables, right? That's why I'm creating Maven.sh. Okay. Enter. Here, you have to define that Maven related configuration path. Let's see. Here, we have these two commands. I'm going to copy and I will explain. See, we are using our current version is Maven 3. So that is the reason export command. If you remember export, what are the uses of export command? Using export command, you can set the environment variables, right? Same here also, same thing I'm doing. M2 underscore home is equal to OPT home Maven. I have downloaded in OPT Maven, right? That's why I given here. But as I said, inside the Maven, we have a bin directory. In the particular bin directory, MVN file is there. When you are running any commands, the particular MVN file is, will be called, right? So that's why export path is equal to dollar. Why I'm calling dollar? Whatever we set here, right? That value will be, keep it here. For example, m2 underscore home means opt slash maven. That opt slash maven, it will come here because I'm using dollar calling this particular variable. Okay, slash bin. It means opt maven slash bin. It is calling that opt slash maven. It is set that particular path. Okay, now I'm closing this one. Fine. Now I'm using MVN. Let's see. Still, I have set the environment variable, but still, I'm when I enter that MVN command, it is showing Maven command not found. The reason is 
only setting the file doesn't work. You have to load that particular environment variable. You have to load that particular environment variable. So for that one, you have to use source command. Before going to use source command, if you see here maven.sh file don't have execute permissions, I'm going to give, okay? CH, CH mode, triple seven. I'm giving full permissions, sorry. CH mode, triple seven, maven.sh. If you observe here, here we have a Maven data says that is we have given the full permission. Okay. Now I'm using source command. What is the uses of source command? Using the source command, you can load this particular environment variable to the our server. Okay. I'm using Maven data search. Okay. Now if you see here, it is loaded. Okay. Now we can check the MVN iPhone version. I'm using MVN iPhone version. If you observe here, Maven is installed. Here, if you observe here, what is the Maven version? What is the Maven path? OPT Maven, right? The, what is the Java version? 1.8.0. Remember, when you are installing Maven, you should install first Java. If you are not installing Java, it won't be work. Again, it will be throw error like you have to install Java. Okay? Got it, right? This is the installation process of Maven. And also, I'm using NVE, ENV. In this particular ENV, if you observe here, when you load it, that uh, particular environment variables also is can. M2 underscore home slash opt maven got it right i hope understand that are any questions if you have any questions feel free to comment and one more thing remember here in our case currently for practicing purpose we are installing latest version but in real time we will be installing specific version the reason is if you use the latest version what will happen it may break the application it may break the your java based application that is the reason we will be used specific version in real time but for practicing purpose, okay, you can use any version. That is not a problem. But real time, based on application, the application which Maven version will be suitable, okay, will will be used that particular version. Okay, I hope understand that. Right? If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I will try to respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video. We will see you next video.